Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting limited edition games Wednesday video where I like to take a look at a typically limited small run of a video game, usually for the Nintendo Switch, and we do a little bit of an unboxing and a little bit of a let's play and see what we think. Today we are here with something that's not terribly limited. Uh, the great folks over at Nicalis have sent me another promotional copy of one of their upcoming games, which I'm terribly excited for because I've really enjoyed every game I've played from them so far, so I'm kind of excited to be on their list. I think that's really nice. One of those few perks you get as a YouTuber on occasion. So just letting you know, not paid for, not sponsored, but they did send this to me for free. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to take a look at this. I do know what it is, but uh, I haven't watched the gameplay trailer or anything because I do like to try and go in blind if I can. Don't worry about this address. That is my P.O. box. It's in the bottom of the description of every video. So I'm not worried about hiding that. And let's uh, pop up in here. I don't think there's too much of a special edition going on with this. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot to look at. I could be wrong. We're going to find out. Get rid of the paper. Look at that. We got monkey barrels. And we got some promotional stuff and an uh, invoice. So cool. So this is Monkey Barrel Switch Retail Edition, according to the packaging slip. Nothing really special to see on there. You can see that, I guess. And we have the fact sheet and the letter. So let's start with the letter. Greetings from the Callus. I'm <clears throat> still sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I really need to learn how to pronounce that correctly. In close, please find a copy of our newest physical game, Monkey Barrels, a colorful action-packed twin-stick shooter from the poor Nintendo Switch with main developer, Good Feel. Please look them up. They've made some very popular games. That sounds very familiar to me. The game is coming out on December 11th, so we hope you can post an unboxing video as soon as possible. Well, um, this showed up to me... I guess this showed up on December 11th, so I am getting it out as soon as I can. <laughs> so we hope you can post an unboxing video as soon as possible. It's available for purchase in store at store.nicalis.com. We're certain your followers will appreciate, appreciate a close look at the Monkey Barrel's packaging, and we hope you enjoy the game as well. Yes, absolutely, and I have a feeling I will. So the fact sheet. Before we get in here, let's check out the facts of life. All right, so a little monkey named Kotetsu has been abducted by a Crabbenwald... Electric, the evil electronics manufacturer that wiped out the human race. It's monkeys versus crabs. Okay. As Kotetsu's friends, Masaru and Hanako, lead the charge in an all-out assault to rescue him. Monkey Barrels is an action-packed twin-stick twin shooter in which you blast waves of weaponized electronic devices with tons of crazy unlockable weapons. You can experiment endlessly with different combinations and find the loadout that best suits your playing style. Physical, in, in, ah, physical edition includes the game card along with a collectible instruction booklet. Nice. 98 outrageous weapons fashioned from household objects like bottles, cans, blow dryers, umbrellas, and more. Nice. Players can equip up to four weapons simultaneously, two main weapons, guns, and two sub-weapons, grenades, shields, etc. When your wild power meter fills up from taking damage, you can unleash a super move that wipes out surrounding enemies and projectiles. Robust single-player story mode with a giant bullet heck <laughs> boss battle at the end of every era. That's cute. Uh, monkey vs. Monkey PvP online multiplayer banana scramble mode for four to six participants. 22 different stages set in various regions of Japan. Unique 3D pixel art puts a fresh spin on old-school graphics. Released December 11th, 2020 for the Nintendo Switch. Twin-stick action shooter number players 1 to 6. E10 plus rating. Uh, MSRP of $39.99. You can probably find this at Best Buy, by the way, if you if you need it in store. Publisher Nicalis and developer Goodfeel Company Limited. But again, go to their website, which will be in the link below if you really want to help them out. That way, the developers, the producers, all those people make a little bit more money. Cut out one of the middlemen. So here's this awesome artwork. We will, of course, look at it with the plastic on. Then we'll take the plastic off. We'll take a look at it. We'll uh, play the game. We'll look at the uh, uh, instruction manual after we do the Let's Play. So we have a little something fun to look at when we come back. Let me get that cut out there. And come on. Come on. Well, I'm going at it from the wrong side. Let's try over here. Here we go. Come on now. There we are. And plastic is off. And here you go. That is pretty, pretty. I like that. Get you a closer up look here. Do the Star Wars crawl on the monkey barrels. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. I have a feeling this is definitely going to be one I'm going to enjoy a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, I, I can get into these twin stick shooters. I didn't used to love them, but now that I've been playing more and more of them for these video series, I'm starting to really appreciate what they are and how they work. 98 crazy weapons. Okay, and we're almost there. 
I like that little logo there. That's cute. All right, on the inside, we got, boom! Oh, we get a reversible cover, too. Oh, well, it's just uh, Japanese, the Japanese cover. Well, actually, it is a different front cover. Cool. Well, let's pop that out and take a closer look at it, then. You can see it properly. I don't know. I actually think I like that better. <laughs> just by a hair. They're both really awesome cover arts. And then the back is basically the same, I think. Just uh, in Japanese instead of Ingles. So very nice there. And of course, here is the game cartridge itself. All right, we will look at this after we do the Let's Play. So let's play the game. Okay, hey everybody, let's play some Monkey Barrels. I'm actually playing this game the same day I did the unboxing. That's highly unusual for me. And it's 6.31 p.m. on December 13th. Uh, we're going to do this for like 20 minutes, somewhere in there, you know, we'll just see. We'll get a sense of what we think about this game. First things first, is it complete on cart? Uh, I keep forgetting I need a system update, so ignore that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it after. Oh, so the game does need an update. That is always a little bit of a heartbreaker. Uh, especially in something like the Switch, where it's cartridge-based. You know, you want to be able to just throw a cartridge in years later and have it play on any Switch, but it is what it is. Let's just hope it's a short download. Because obviously you can still probably play the game without it. I just don't know how buggy or whatnot. Okay, two minutes. Let's see if that's actually accurate. If that's true, I can probably chat with y'all for a sec while we get through that. Oh yeah, less than a minute. All right, that's a tiny update. I do wish they would tell you on the Switch uh, the update sizes. Uh, is there somewhere in settings or something you can go and look into that? Just out of curiosity sometimes. If anybody out there has information on that, please feel free to let me know. In the meantime, my little buddy is fading into the force. <laughs> But yeah, this is one of my favorite shirts I now own. It's, uh, naps and snacks. That's about right. <clears throat> Give me some snackos. All right, I feel like this is taking more than a minute. Come on, baby. 60, you can do it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to go open up some wine and make some shrimp toast, have a little salad. Uh, restaurants open up tomorrow, so back up. So I'm planning on going out and enjoying that tomorrow to support my favorite place in the whole state. Um, Azur, if you're curious uh in lexington kentucky azur check them out chef jeremy is the man so's otter so's popcorn so's everybody over there those are the three main chefs all right we're finally gonna play this game so you can get what you came for one of these days i'll release the video i made for azur it was uh done for visit lex website but i can put it out whenever i was just leaving them some exclusivity something i made i'm very very proud of the kind of thing i'd like to keep making in the future look the child is yellow and yes i know that we know things, but, you know, people out there still haven't seen stuff, so I'm just trying to be, trying to be chill. I like the little monkey in the now loading. That is cute. Hey, Nikalis. Is it Nick Alice, like N-I-C? Is it Nikalis, like Nike? Somebody out there help me. I need, I need to figure out how you actually say it. I want to say it right. Are they going to send me games? I want to say it right. I think it's Nikalis. I don't know where the any button is, but <laughs> I love that joke. This game uses an autosave feature to not close the game. Okay. Cool. All righty. And away we go. Might be too loud. I don't know. Actually, it's probably about right on the volume. Known for the high performance quality and state of the oh, company president, Dr. Ejin Crabbenworld, grew the company into a global powerhouse within a single generation. More than just a charisma, charisma, charismatic front man, he was able to be the brilliant engineer who personally. Shit. He had it all fame, fortune, prestige, but his ambition lay elsewhere. Weapons development. Crab World's one desire was to test the limits of his skills as an engineer by creating whatever weapon his imagination something. The first phase of this plan he had quite aptly called something. By inserting his patented Crab World Drive combat chip into his products, he could turn any device something. All at once, the Crab World electronic goods in every household around the world could be acted something. Finally, the day came for him to put his fiendish plot into motion. I'm not hitting the button there. It's auto-scrolling that fast. In the living rooms all across the globe, the Crab World drives turned into everything into TVs and toasters and bloodthirsty killers. The surprise invasion against the Vince's families everywhere meant that the destruction of mankind came all too easily. The story of humanity had come to an end, and the world now belongs to the Crab World Electric. Crab World Electric. But even in this conquered world, Crab World's ceaseless pursuit for the perfection weapon continued. For the perfect weapon continued. I like doing voices, so I like reading that stuff, but... I like when games have a little text, so I can I can do fun voices. But I don't like when games are all text-based. I don't think we have that problem. In this post-humanity world, a small number of tenacious bees still fought for survival. Making use of whatever leftover human relics they could find, they built lives of relative peace and comfort. Grandio Tokyo, the rooftop of a derelict building. Gatano. 
Here, a small group of monkeys were living in a surprisingly fun, carefree existence. Masuru, boy oh boy, boy oh boy, would you like to- Ah. Uh. This affable lad is passionate, courageous, and more than a little impulsive, and does love that biker jacket. Oh, give me a break. You always say that no matter what the weather is, you're the laziest monkey I know. This young lady's days as a local celebrity in Unozuo's Monkey Mountain were long behind her. Hey, chill, honey, go chill. The weather really is nice today. We should have a picnic or something. And then there's this lovable little fella, kind of always thinking of others, and he's the type of chimp that's loved by someone. It was on this pleasant, picturesque day that the aircraft arrived. An aircraft that carried none other than Dr. Edgins and Grammar World. Hot off the success of his consumer electronics weaponization project, the new ruler did something. The militarization of the world's animals. Captain World. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, well, what do we have here? Such energetic apes would serve as a perfect test subject. That one with the odd bowl cut seems especially animated. Yes, I quite like him. She must be mine! Hanako, look out! Oh, oh. Huh, snagged a little runt instead, and I really had my heart set on the female, too. But no matter, rejoice, little one, for I am going to turn you into the strongest monkey the world has ever known. Now then, let us depart, depart, and begin my grand experiment. Oh, I'm also Hanako! Hanako! Katsu, Katsu! Stop, stop! They're getting away with... Katsu, he saved me now! He dang it! Oh, Hanako, I don't know what that thing was, but we gotta... Right, don't worry, Katsu, we're coming for you! Uh, no, oh, hold on a second. Mr. Symbiote! Enter Mr. Symbiote, verified genius and faster. I can't, I can't, so fast I can't read it! Here, this is for you. It's my latest invention. Thanks, Mr. Symbiote. Shimbiyama? That thing is kutsu. It's called a human. They can't be troublesome. If you want to get kutsu back, uh, you'll need to learn to use this. And once you're ready, we all go rescue kutsu. Ah. You got it, Mr. Shimbiyama. See, oh, thanks for the subscribe. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. Uh, <laughs> see, the thing is, I know I'm butchering those names. I can read them if I can have a second to process it. Henry, thank you for the subscribe, Henry. Did you just double subscribe? Is that the same name? I don't know. I should turn that alert off, but whatever. Okay, we are playing the game. All right, tutorial. All right, let's get started with your trading. First off, let's cover movement. Hmm, I've been playing on uh, PlayStations a lot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, that little object there is what we call junk. Collect enough of it and you can trade it, at my, trade it to me in my shop for new weapons. Let's get some more junk then, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, I did the thing. Now then, use your main weapon to destroy the blue container. ZR button, main weapon one. Nice. Well then, let's uh... We're coming back, we're coming back. Oh right. Still, I still have to get used to twin six shooters, because... I don't know, my brain just doesn't want to process it correctly. I assume there's nice things hidden. Okay, okay, face the container and let him rip. Aim with the right stick. Not yet. I want to do a thing first. Those things look destructible. Is it like, get all three and... Hold on. Oh, that's right. I can hold down the stick. Okay. Or I can hold down the trigger. So you see just tapping because, you know, ammo. Oh, that's a lot of junk. Do I have infinite ammo? I do not have infinite ammo. I really shouldn't do that. You can carry two main weapons. You have to decide which one is best according to each situation. All right. Oh! That's pretty dope. Gimme, 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 gimme. Did we get this one? That's a little slow, but it's cool. Give me other things before they disappear. Uh, you can fire your main weapons as much as you want. All you have to do is reload them, which I suggest you do in between each encounter. Why is the reload button? I don't know, why is the reload button? Oh, maybe I do have infinite ammo. That's just how many bullets are in my clip. Okay, good, good, good. I'm gonna be so full of junk. Oops.
Okay. All right. It's pretty responsive. <clears throat> I'm digging this uh, piece of music. Give me all the things. Give me all the things now. I want the junk. Give me all the junk. Give me all the junk in my trunk. All right. I got a feeling we're about to do a thing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> You're being blocked by that Caribbean... Uh, crap. Crabbin World Gate! If you want to get past it, you'll need to defeat the enemies in the area and get your hands on Crabbin World Gate Key! Okay. Oh shit, those are, those are more enemies. Woohoo! Grab the Crabbin World Gate Key and then the enemy jump, then make contact with the gate to advance. Advance me! Power up! Oh. Next, let me tell you about sub weapons. Uh oh, looks like you're all out of ammo. What? Pick up that ammo box there. That'll give you more sub weapon ammo. Oh, sub weapon ammo. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Sub full. So sub weapons might not be infinite then. It sounds like. Oh, you can carry two sub weapons as well. So once again, evaluate your situation and be smart about how you use them. Okay. If you run out of sub weapon ammo, destroy pink containers like that one. They'll provide you with ammo boxes. So much ammo. Can I get in there? No? Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How do we sub weapon? Is it gonna be like R button? It didn't really tell me how to sub weapon. Yep, R button. Oh! I can throw over. Oh shit. That's like a landmine? All right, shoot it. No, it's gonna go off. There it goes. Blow up! Why not blow up? There we go. I'm not sure what good that did me, but okay. How? How now, brown cow? What am I doing here? Oh, that does, okay. I did not look destructible. But it was! It was destructible! The boy just didn't know any better. Love those like 8-bit kind of crunchy sounds. That's fun. Alright, we're gonna lock up a gate here. Bam! Oh wait, what is that here? Oh! Ooh! This is a checkpoint. If you die, it'll restart from here. Okay. Flag it up, baby. Oh shit. Jumping is an essential part of your repertoire. You can use it to cover ground more quickly or even dodge past enemies. B button to jump. All right, I'll keep that in mind in a minute. Yeah, give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. Why you got no stuff for me? Jumping will let you quickly cross over holes. Try jumping over that hole right there. What hole? It's not a hole. Oh, that hole. Yes. That a hole. Oh, well, I hit the button. I just didn't hit it right, apparently. Okay. You definitely got to hit it a little bit sooner than anticipated. You can jump over enemy attacks, too. This is true no matter what kind of attack it is. Pretty cool. Oh. I mean, maybe. Oh, I see. I see what you want me to do. Can't get to that one. Nice. All right. Give me some sub weapons. Oh, that container has a banana in it. Bananas, B A N A N A S, will restore your life. Why one? While a banana bunch will refill it completely. Banana. All right. Uh, if you want to cover long distances in an instant, use dash while moving L stick to press in. Oh, uh, okay. All right, if I must. Woo! Blowing up all the stuff. Oh, wild power will allow you to unleash your primal strength. You can use it as soon as your WP gauge is full. It's so much better than filling up your WAP gauge. Maybe not, depends on what you're into. If you find yourself in trouble, remember that you can go wild. 
With your WP gauge, will your WP gauge will fill up as you defeat enemies, take damage, or drink WAP juice. I mean, WP juice. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun joke. All right, I'll try to stop. Activating wild power will cause a shockwave that can damage enemies. While it's active, you can fire your main weapons non-stop without having to reload. It's pretty much party time, you know. Destroy that vending machine there to pick up some WP juice. Once your meter is full, you're ready to unleash your wild power. X button, gonna give it to him. Wild power when WP gauge is full. Well, I'm, I'm not full yet. We're doing it. Oh, shit. I don't want to unleash all those. I got, ah, stop shooting it. Wild power up. It must be Jolt Cola. It's extreme, man. Oh, I guess it's not helping me having more. Shoot. Uh, X is the button. X is the... Oh, shoot. Hey, guys. What? I'm hitting it. I'm hitting... Oh, I'm hitting Y. Crap. I was hitting Y. Okay, that's the X button. Man, I don't know why these things gotta be in different order than freaking, uh... Like, why can't all... Oh, that wild... Oh, I'm still wild. Oh. Oh, it's like a star. Okay, it's like a Mario star. Short bursts. So far, so fun. I'm digging it, man. I'm not surprised, but I'm digging it. It's time for your final lesson. The task is to make it to the exit all on your own. Once in a while, you might come across baby monkeys that have been captured and hidden away by the enemy. If you're able to, you should do your best to rescue them. I will do my best, sir. All right, I set you over the checkpoint. Nice. And it's B. Ah! I hit A. Damn it. Nothing is where I expect it to be. <laughs> up, life up. Good, since I just wasted one. Cool. I assume this thing will get insane at some point. Hey, baby monkey. I rescue you, baby monkey. Baby puppy monkey. Ah! Ah! Oh, right, sit. Damn it. Uh, who's got the gate key? Are you the key master? Did I actually get the gate key? Oh, okay. I must have picked it up when I didn't notice. That container has a weapon blueprint hiding within it. Bring any blueprints you find in my shop. I can use them to create new weapons. Cool beans. Uh, dash. Well, that does it for your training. You've handled yourself well. Oh, and one last thing. Pink containers contain little presents from me that can help you out. Be sure to open up any you'll come across. Okay, that pretty much covers all the basics. The real deal's not gonna be so easy, but we have to keep Kip Kotetsu back. No matter what, we have to get Kotetsu back, no matter what. All right. Stage clear. Congrats. Good luck, brave monkey. Oh, I got me a new record. Nice. Baby monkey Toma. A baby monkey Toma. Ba -ba baby monkey Toma. Don't be afraid to use your sub weapons. They don't have unlimited ammo, but you can always resupply if you find an ammo box. They're scattered all over, so if you spot one, you should pick it up. Welcome camp. This is the camp, our forward operating base for the missions to rescue Kotetsu. I'll be supporting you from here. There are a few things we need to cover, so listen up. Camp shop. <laughs> Whenever you need some more firepower, pay a visit to old Shimbayama's shop. Shimbayama, all right. My selection is second to none. Oh, but I'll need junk in order to make you new weapons, so bring me as much as you can find. Now I realize I'm doing the wrong voice if that's Shimbayama talking. It's now officially his voice. Camp equipment box. I'll keep all your weapons safe in the equipment box, which you can change your gear whenever you need to. Making full use of all your weapons is the key to success. Camp, changing characters. Remember, you don't have to do this alone. You can always take a break and let Han Hanaku here take over for a while. After all, what are friends for? I'll keep it clean. Uh, <laughs> camp, trading area. 
Seeing as how you're all new to this sort of thing, I've set up a training area for you. Pay a visit whenever you want a little extra practice with your weapons. Just follow the camp's left path to reach it. Do your best out there, okay? You can set out to rescue Kotetsu whenever you're ready. If you want to leave the camp, just take the path leading up. Good luck out there, and don't push yourselves too hard. All right, so am I, I'm in the camp, huh? Or I'm somewhere. There's a baby monkey. There's a pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! There's a fire! Can I shoot it? I can't shoot anything in camp. So that's a person to talk to. Oh, no, that's how you switch characters. Okay. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So that's shop. Aha! Set up. Main weapons. Cola, pro Cola pop gun. Starter. Okay. Tuna can of war. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. Nice little stat sec section there. Hello, shop monkey. Hey, glad to see you're still alive. Remember, I changed the voice now. So, um, oh, we can get some new stuff here. Ooh, that's got some range to it, baby. What's the speed on that sucker? 1.5 seconds, though. Reload's kind of slow. I wish I could compare this against what I already have pretty easy, but you know what? I think I want that. Let's buy some. Yeah? Goodbye and good luck. Did I? Oh, I exited. Crap. <laughs> I exited. Uh, bye. You now have the bottle rocket green starter. Goodbye and good luck. All right, so do I need to come over here and uh, equip it, or is it already equipped? I will need to come over here and equip it. Wait a minute. I have it. Why is it not in my inventory? Did I not buy it? Uh, maybe I didn't buy it. What? Hold on. No, I bought it. Maybe I should have paid a better attention to what was being said. It's like target practice or something. Oh, oh, it says it down there. It's new. I see. Wait, no. Oh, okay. I That's what I thought. Maybe it would just be kind of hidden out here. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Let's see what we think about it. All right, so where are the paths taking me? There were two paths. I guess this is okay. All right, yeah, we're stage selecting. All right. So that was okay. So that's that. So let's let's give it a go here, shall we, everybody? Oh my God, we're over 22 minutes. We at least got to do one stage, right? 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 I'm actually, it's fine. I'm having fun. I'm getting a little hungry though. Try to avoid attacking the tougher enemies head on. Get behind them or use the environment to your advantage. And if you get surrounded, dash or jump to put some distance between you and the enemy. If I can remember how to do it, I will. All right, let's get some damage going, shall we? Oh, oh, okay. I don't know that I like this gun, actually. Actually, it's pretty powerful, though. Give me all the junk. I need all that junk in my trunk so I can, you know, get some cool stuff. Have I picked up a key yet? Oh uh, yeah, I got a key. Good, 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 good. Key me, baby, key me. Regular key party up in here. Man, that gun is so weak. That gun is powerful, it's just slow. There we go. Got him. Banana, banana. Oh yeah, let's get that WP juice in. I'm getting kind of a fun, weird alibi. Oh, whoa. Okay, I bought a cool gun, y'all. Oh, geez, those are enemies. I thought those were ammo boxes. Ah! There we go. <laughs> All right, moving on. Wow. Takes a few shots, huh? 
Yeah, baby. Show me what you got. Oh boy. That's enough of that. Oh, this is one of those I can like multi path. Lilu Dallas multi path. Oh, those things shoot. That's right. Oh, look at all that. Power ups. Uh, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna double back. We gotta get all the stuff, you know? I got that completest mindset happening today. Nice. Look at me being awesome. I'm a good gamer, y'all. That's why I'm gonna get on Twitch. Actually, uh, regulars, what do you think? Should I start doing, trying to find, I'm, if I can find the time, I wanna start doing some Twitch streaming. Y'all wanna join me over on Twitch and see how it goes? Because if nothing else, I wanna get into doing things like watch parties and stuff, man. Like that might be the future of uh, DMN for my regulars out there. Man, those reds take a lot of shooting. Oh, that's a lot of those things. Got him. Splash two. All right, we cleared absolutely everything down that way. Let's go. Let's keep blowing stuff up. Oh, oh, that's a, a thing. Nice. Monkey ballin'. I like that LED strip. Yeah, cool music. Cool music, bruh. Ah, there we go. I do like the power of this gun, but it'd be a little bit slow. Nice, Eric. Good grouping, sir. Uh-oh. We got a big old baddie. He's a TV daddy. Don't you take my things that are mine. Is that another hole? That's another hole. Thought I sensed Mary coming up to scare me. I feel like, oh, I, I did miss a spot here. We gotta get all the goodies. There we go. All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, shoot. There we go. Nice. I'm awesome at games. I'm the best gamer ever I was. I'm kidding. I'm not, obviously. Good monkey. Oh, I'm scared. I was a scared little monkey. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, this is another great one. This is another keeper. This is another one I will absolutely just play for myself for fun. Which I'm starting to finally do. I'm starting to actually play occasionally games just for fun, not for YouTube. Which is a strange sensation. It's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> you know what? Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Give me all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. Got it, got it, got it. Get it, get it, get it. Want it, want it, want it. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I did. All right, I can see it's starting to be a little bit hect more hectic-y. Oh, I think I hurt myself. I think I was too close to that blast. Watch this. He will never see it coming. Or he will and shoot at me anyways. It's fine, I don't care. I mean, I do care, but you know. Oh! Took it right in the chest. I am digging this vaguely Weird Al-esque music. 
It's reminding me of Dare to be Stupid at times, and I'm loving it. Well, not this part, but the more uh, kind of chip y part. Yeah. You think you can get me that easy? You. Oh! Okay. Maybe you can. Nice. I'm still really good at what I'm doing. This is probably really dumb. Yeah, I gotta remember I can uh, shoot in all directions. Banana, banana, I like bananas. Bananas. They are B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. Hey! You damn hippie TV! Fine. I'll kill you. Oh, what did I do? Oh, oh, there's. I thought I got them all. I did not. Oh, that's so not what I meant to do. Ow, 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 ow. I want the things. Hold on. No. You can't come in here, stupid. You're too wide for the doorway. Oh, shit. I, did, I guess he can turn around. Who's stupid now? Stupid monkey. Alright, we cleared this. There we go. Let's go ahead and reload since we're uh, having some trouble here. Oh! Those are not health, those are not health ups. <laughs> Shit explodes like that, I can hardly see what I'm doing. I'm having so much trouble nailing that one. Oh, that's, those suck. Those suck. Those really suck. Ooh, almost ran into him. At least with his range, that range works pretty well, man. Heck yeah. Heckles! I bet there's some hidden stuff. Nope, there is not. My eyes are, I'm pulling a Mary, I'm not blinking. <laughs> My eyes are getting watery. Doo, 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 doo. Oh no, you locked me in. How dare you? Load. Load! Load! Oh, I hurt myself, damn it. And I killed myself. Game over! What? Alright, fine, we'll continue. We'll continue. We had a checkpoint somewhere. <laughs> now that I think about it, it seems like a checkpoint. Might have been a while ago. Oh yeah, it was a while ago. Oh, poop. I'm sorry, everybody. I should play better. So I will play better. You just watch. You watch me not suck. As I immediately do something stupid and sucky. Ow! Ow! Right in my face. I don't like it. I don't like it, Bobby. Got them all. Two for one, one for all. I gotta remember I have other uh, weapons to play with, too. Nope, bad time to reload. Yeah, this is super fun. Super freaking fun, dude. Thank you, Nicholas, for an awesomely fun game to play. Y'all make some quality. Y'all distribute some quality stuff. I might not have been as far back on all this stuff as I thought I was. Is that everything? I think that's everything. All right, moving on. Reload, yeah. Ooh. 
Give me all the stuff and all the things. Maybe I shouldn't blow all that stuff up until I need it for cover. Nice. Sick moves, kid. Got that life up. Getting plenty of life up, though, at least. Oh, sh How did that one sneak in on me? Oh, can I get him from beyond the walls? Well, I want my junk. Nice. Nice use of the environment, Eric. You're really good at this, is what everybody in the audience is saying right now. Everybody in the audience is like, I'm gonna subscribe to your Patreon right now because you're so good at games. You, oh. How did I miss that before? Or is this where I died? Hold on. Um, that's not where I died. We got a little sub-level here. I go, let's go do it. Anyways, Patreon. Uh, you don't wanna wa you don't wanna do it because I'm good. You wanna do it because you like my personality and I'm entertaining. I mean I have my moments of goodness of being good. Alright. Ow, that looks like it hurt me. Mary might be on her way home from the grocery. Yep. Alright. Is that a checkpoint? No, but it's a a weapons blueprint. Nice. So that's what that was. How did I miss that before? I don't know. All right, let's just try not to die and lose it then. Reload! Oh, I should have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Oh! Didn't mean to blow up my own face, though. Oh, we got this thing. Fudge sickles. Ah, shoot. I'm just trying to get all the junk and not waste any. Got it. Nice. Good for me. That was my health. And is there health? There's like health in here, right? And I'm just, I'm not picking it up. I can't remember what the hell is. It's not the juice. All right. Try to play this part smarter. All right, I'm locked in. You're not locked in here with me. I, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Something like that. No, my junk. Oh, I lost some junk. Poop. All right. I does not have a key. Oh, it's probably in that box. Whoa, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, 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 Don't let it hit you. Oh, shoot. I can only take one more hit. Ooh. My dues has the key. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta play very careful here now. Cause I don't really have time to play through this again. Uh, at least we get a checkpoint. Okay, I'll take it. At least we got a checkpoint, so we can get a little crazier with it.
Oh, it's going to turn into boss music. I know how games work. Oh, Jesus. Just shoot and dodge. Oh, this is not good. Okay, that's really bad. Thank the maker for a checkpoint. Oh, and that's good. Thank the maker for ranged attacks. Ooh. Okay, this is nerve wracking. Oh, I sure hope I'm doing this right. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. We'll continue from that checkpoint. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Because I'm good at games. Ow, what's with my pinky? <laughs> Cramping my pinky in too much or something. All right, well, we got a little more room to play with our stuff here, so. Ah, shit. I didn't mean to give up my cover. So, yeah, forget the junk. I'm just trying to win here. Ah. Like, I'm not even sure if I'm actually supposed to be shooting that thing, but I guess so. I mean, maybe I'm actually supposed to be shooting the thing in the middle? Oh, that doesn't feel right. This might take some doing, y'all. Because I'm not sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, you know, I should have taken them down by now. I should have blown up one of these things by now. Maybe I just need to get this thing? Oh, they're taking out my stuff too. Okay, that's no bueno. Ooh, took a hit. Yeah, I feel like I would have blown one of those up by now. <laughs> so what, am I supposed to be shooting this thing? Oh! I'm dumb. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Yay, stage clear! Okay, this game is great. I love it. I recommend it. You can see what it is. You know, if you like this kind of stuff, you're going to like this. I played way longer than I meant to, but that's okay. Uh, so again, thank you, Nicalis. I really do appreciate it. It's a gorgeous package. It's a fun game. It's a super fun twin stick shooter. I love the soundtrack. I do wish there had been a version that had a soundtrack. I'm not saying send it to me for free. I'm just saying it would, you know, as a even a person that would buy it, that's a soundtrack I'd like to have. So cool beans. All right, well, let's get back to that unboxing. All right, so hopefully that game is every bit as fun as I think it is, but you're going to have to let me know what you think as well. But before we get out of here, let's take a look at this nice instruction booklet they included with us. I will try to go slow enough that you can pause and take a look at each page if you want to read all the things in here. It's uh, got a decent amount of pages here, like about a 20 page or something like that, so that's pretty good. Lots of beautiful, colorful art. And it's an actual instruction manual, as it does tell you how to use the controller, so that's always nice. We get some basics of how the game itself works. The items menu or items list, that's pretty fun. I always love manuals, man. I grew up in that era, so it's nice to see these things kind of making a comeback, at least in a lot of these special edition games. 
weapons, a bunch of weapons you can work with. They look pretty crazy and fun. And then you got the online mode. I'm just gonna work on story mode. I'm not much of an online, especially on Switch. I mean, I, I will play, occasionally play with people. So you can always be my Switch friend, but uh, or my Xbox friend or my PlayStation friend. <laughs> That's a really nice piece of art. All right, well, there you have it. There is Nicalis' physical release of Monkey Barrels. But let me know, what do you think? Have you played this game? Are you going to play this game? Are you going to grab it physically? Uh, what do you think of this collection? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so definitely geek out with me in the comments below. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. You can check out my Patreon channel by going to patreon.com and looking up The Eric Butts or using the links in the description below. For $1 a month, you get an extra video every single day. We do about five video game Let's Plays a week, a weekly vlog, movie review every Wednesday, and a whole bunch more shenanigans. You can come on over be a Patreon peep and have a good time doing it. All right, that's it, though. I'm going to get out of here because i got some fun games to play, so I'm going to go open up some more things and play some more games. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Thank you.